This hunts for a buck I call the Camp Six Buck, and uh, this was in uh, Northwest Ontario, early December, late season, uh, cold weather, windy, and I had a buddy of mine, Kev, with me, and, and he filmed this hunt, which uh, makes it a lot better because you're going to see me shooting and all of that, but we'd had a we were struggling on some crusty snow, and then we got just a dust in the snow in the night. Just, just enough to say it was a little bit of snow. And uh, I picked this track up that it was, I really had to look at it to tell that it was made in the night, because once you get some snow usually in the tracks, everything blends together. And uh, he hadn't gone far and uh, before we jumped him. And, Took some time to let him go, which I always do. You pay attention to this. I've always tell people, it's what I teach people, is if you, when you jump a buck, if you wait a half an hour and let him settle down, you're going to have a lot better chance of killing him the second time than you would the first time, because usually they're laying in their bed looking at you. And uh, so we took the time, waited, had a sandwich, and got after him and I think I shot this buck within a half a mile after we'd had our little break and waited. So hope you enjoy this hunt for the Camp 6 buck. Well, me and Kev are going to strike off on a new mission today. We're back up into a place we'd come the uh, first day we get out here. There was a couple of good bucks here but um, there hadn't been uh, any new snow so that we figured there was too many tracks up in here to try to you know keep track and so we've been hunting where there wasn't very many deer and so we got this little dust and we're going to try it see if we can cut a track this morning uh, if not we'll just keep going and soon sure we'll turn something up sooner or later cold and windy and another good day to hunt so Show you some action. I met up with Hal from this morning and we kind of checked a couple things out and got a fairly fresh buck track and then went into this piece of woods in the middle of the cut. So we were gonna make a little play on it, fought it out, come out of that wood line, and it was just Kind of screwing around a little bit and just trying to figure the track out. There's a lot of other tracks in here. And to tell you the truth, it was so cold. I just, I was like, I gotta go. I gotta move on my own track so I can stay warm. And uh, I only went about 100 yards from me. And he called me, said he just jumped that deer, was just up and feeding, just up above the knob where we split up again. So. I'm gonna work my way back towards Hal since we got a fresh cut, fresh track. I'm in the cut and uh, take it from there. It's gotta be getting towards late morning, noon time. So it'll be easy telling them now, telling a fresh track now. So see what happens. Getting a fire going for Kev, his fingers are cold. <laughs> <laughs> we just uh, picked up a track coming out of one of these cuts. It had just been made like during the snow this morning. We got snow just around daylight. Now it's cleared up. Cut a big, real big track. Hard to follow, got mixed in with water, but just enough of an edge on it to be able to stay with it. Come through one piece of woods, come out in the cut, fed on a little cedar, come back in this bottom, and he was going that way, but I don't know if he bedded down, but he turned and he came up this steep knoll and he was feeding right here. So when we 
come around on his track, we bumped into him. He wasn't bedded, he was up feeding, but he was in this edge because we never, he heard us coming around there. But So, gonna have a sandwich, get our fingers warmed up. It's about, not very warm. <laughs> Be down towards zero. The wind's blowing in the cuts and it's pretty cold. So. We'll, uh, we'll give the old boy a few minutes. Settle him down. Eat a sandwich. Warm up a little bit. We'll go after him. special matches. U.S. military issue. Waterproof. Good thing to carry. They, they got a good flame to them. Oop. Windproof, waterproof. want to have a warm trigger figure. My grandfather taught me this little trick when I was a kid, rabbit hunting. We used to, we didn't have warm clothes back then. So we had some fires in the woods. And we toast our sandwich, have a nice warm sandwich. You think, Kev, we're gonna get that buck today? We're gonna get a crack at him. We got some good wind. Still pretty noisy going, but with any luck, we'll catch up to him in the right place. We might get a whack at him. Good Lord might shine down on us today.
Nice one. We got it done. We had our sandwich, warmed our fingies. That buck come down, run down, slowed up, and you get up in the back of these grown up cuts. He uh, ran. I thought we might have spooked him. He stopped. He ran across about 100 yards of cut. He got in a piece of this spruce woods, went down, zigzag up through. He come down in here, and he turned and come up this knob. I could see he was going real slow, so I snuck up this knob, peeking up over, and right over there in that brush, about 50 yards right on that, if you can see right where that snow is, the other side of that brush. He'd go on there and he was turned back right in there. And uh, I hit him good. I see him hump right up. And I shot again when he dove and he, he headed down over the ridge there, so. Oh, look here, Kev. He bedded right here. There's a bed right here. Just notice that. He bedded down and he he actually jumped up here. That's kind of strange. He must have heard us coming and he jumped up and he went down around there. And like I said, the good Lord was shining on us today. Let's go see what we got, Kev. Them horns look pretty good to oh, me. Oh yeah, they're a little fat. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go check it out. right in here. Hooked up here. Right here. See a little blood here. I had it high on his shoulder because I didn't want to pull into the brush too much. That? There he is, right here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Took the tumble right down here. That was his. He made a slide right here. Boy, what a beautiful buck. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Beautiful Ontario buck right there. Them dark horns, heavy. He's an eight with two stickers on his brow there. Looks like he's a little bit thin. This is uh, December. I've lost track of time. Seventh, I mean. Or eighth. December seventh or eighth in Ontario. Cold. Not much snow. A few inches of snow, but. Uh, the old boys run some run some weight off him. So this is one of these we call them up here in Ontario. We we started calling this because we tracked one earlier. We call it the caribou buck because they you know their feet are quite a bit bigger than most of the good bucks. They, I don't know. He must be must be an older buck, but he's got big good foot there. He's a beautiful buck and he's his you can see his backbone is stuck right out of him. He's lost weight. I don't know what he's gonna weigh, but I'd I'd have to guess this buck would weigh at least 250 earlier, but he ain't gonna weigh that now. Um, but anyways, it was a fun hunt. Today we started out on a mission. We got this dust in the snow, and uh, some places a little more than other, but kind of down this area we were gonna come back to. We came here. The afternoon of the first day we got here, 
been a long way. I've been probably circled for a couple of miles out around here and didn't find any much for tracks. Kev from scouting before knew that this side of the it was a big drainage and he knew this side of it there was more deer so we kind of got met up over there and still hadn't really seen any tracks that were made since the snow at daylight and then, like I said I finally I, I picked this track up he was coming out of the cut going into a piece of woods with cedar in it and uh, it still had that dust in the snow but I could tell it was made you know in the night sometime it was crispy around the edges a little bit but it had the dust and the snow in it and uh, just followed it up had, had to sort through some other tracks but kept on it and circled and kept on it and didn't really go a long ways and ended up he was he had probably had laid down and come back then he come back on his track kind of went up on this little knob and we didn't even know we had jumped it we were still trying to work the old track and and uh, where we've sh where I shot this buck here, we're probably only, as the crow flies back across there, it isn't a quarter of a mile from where we jumped him, had to fire, got my trigger finger warmed up. And so that's it. Sometimes it's quick and sometimes it's long, but no matter what, it's a lot of fun. So anyways, we'll get him gutted out, take the long drag, Head back to camp. A little celebrating. I don't know what that'll involve, but <laughs> anyway. Nice buck. Getting there. Oh. 